Imagine telling someone, Your floor is lava! And they dove right in to swim. You've got to be kidding me, that's missing logic, dude. Logic then leads us to sanity. The fun part is there's this thing called mathematical logic in which the name Tim Morgan is no stranger. Ever heard of Tim Morgan's law? Let's talk about its prime mover. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the life and contributions of Augustus de Morgan. On the 27th of June, year 1806 in Madura, India, Lieutenant Colonel John de Morgan and Elizabeth Dodson welcomed their child, Augustus. But around his seventh month of existence, the sequel rebellion took place, so they moved to England. When he was done, his father passed away, and he started transferring from a school to another for a couple of times. He was bullied for seeing with only one eye. Then he turned 14, and they discovered that he is a math genius. The moving power of mathematical invention is not reasoning, but imagination. His college years in Trinity College, Cambridge are influenced by his math buddies, George Peacock and William Hewell, but he was prominent in musical clubs. Thereafter, he taught mathematics in University College, London, where he lasted for 30 years, though he once resigned and went back. Within those years, he changed the world by writing about calculus, and coining the term mathematical induction. And in 1866, he became one of the founders and the first president of the London Mathematical Society. Now, are you up for some love story? We'll get a bit of that, and let's start with the Morgan had a friend called William Friend, who's got a daughter called Sophia Elizabeth. The Morgan and Sophia met, and their stomachs are then filled with butterflies. They built a family with seven children named William, George, Mary Augusta, Edward Lindsay, Elizabeth Alice, Anne Isabella, and Helen Christina. And the rest is history. De Morgan loved his family so dearly, but misfortune suddenly haunted him. Two years after resigning as a professor, George, who seemed to be following his footsteps, died. But that's not it. It was followed by the death of one of his daughters. His love for them was just too strong that it got him extremely devastated. Having to bury two children led to nervous frustration, an incapacitating emotional disorder. On the 18th of March, year 1871, Augustus de Morgan died of father's love. Now let's look at the legacies he had left for the world to see. The legacy of de Morgan to the people of his own nation and to the new generation was not just about rigid logic and axiomatic. but it was rather a historical contribution that encouraged the new generation to not limit themselves with what's already known and to think out of the box.